unit. Please respond to this communication. This is the captain of the Luxatana. I'm conducting maneuvers north of Black Hole NGC 1277 and have been struck by a meteor. It has torn through the ship and all major systems are failing. I'm doing what I can to fix it, but I fear we don't have long. If there's anyone out there, help me, please. Mayday! Mayday! The only light in the cockpit is the rainbow illumination of the warning systems. They're telling you that the ship is about to be sucked into the black hole. Oxygen is low, a stable internal gravity is gone, and unless you can fix the ship, you'll be drawn into the singularity and stretched into eternity. You cannot know if your plea for help made it to sentient, benevolent ears. Your life rests in your own hands. You push yourself into the dark body of the ship, steely determined. This is your last chance. All right, here we have it, a playthrough of Lux Atana. A solitaire game that I've, I've really been enjoying. Um, I kind of have it set up here, but I'm going gonna, gonna to finish doing the setup so you can see how that works. And then we're going to play through and hopefully we'll, we'll survive. I mean, the, the ship's been hit by a meteor. We're headed towards the black hole. Uh, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is crazy. Well, let me tell you first how you win the game. Uh, you win the game by uh, either getting through the entire deck without uh, your ship going into the black hole, right? If it goes in a black hole, you lose, right? Uh, these systems here, if I manage to, um, oh, actually, this, uh, these are in the wrong number. They all need to start on two, okay, because the, 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 um, the ship's been hit by a meteor, and uh, all of them have taken damage. So uh, they all start on number two. And uh, I need to, if, if they go below one, they completely collapse right individually or um, if they go uh, above six they are 100 percent recovered uh, one way i can survive is by turning uh at least three of these three or more uh 100 percent fixed okay and the other ones left over need to be uh, collapsed in which case the game stops and i do my score right so i survived or if I run out of cards in the deck here. Um, you know, this is a timed game. Uh, I don't use a clock for the game. I just, it's a personal choice. Um, uh, I've played this game a few times. I'll, I'll, I usually play it uh, for 10, 15 minutes anyway. Uh, in the rule book, it says you you got to you know put a timer for ten minutes and you know some people like to oh I got to get more car you know and and rush through the game. Um, I want to be able, if I have to think for a couple of minutes. I, I like I like being able to think. I want to savor the game. All right, but usually I've been playing it uh, between ten minutes, fifteen minutes, somewhere around there. So I don't use uh, the clock uh, to play uh, looks a turn. Um, but you can, you can do that because it's in the rule book. Uh, one way to lose the game would be to run out of time. Uh, the way I lose the game here is if um, our ship goes into the black hole, uh, obviously, uh, or if um, four or more of these uh, systems collapse, then the game stops and I lose. Okay, And once again, I win or quote unquote, I, I count my points to see what my score is if I can if I manage to get three or more of these 100% uh, fixed or I run uh, out of cards in this deck so the one of the first things we do we shuffle the cards and we get rid of eight cards two three four five six seven eight we, we just get rid of eight randomly all right and uh, then we got to put these in. These are glitches. Now there are certain uh, systems there that might call upon this particular uh, glitch card. So I have to keep this one aside because this one will give me, uh, I had it upside down here for you, but it'll, I'll have to choose, you know, two of these things if one of these uh, systems uh, requires me to do so. For now, I just leave this off to the side. If I need it, I'll bring it back in. 
It comes with six glitch cards. I'm supposed to shuffle these, mix them up, and take four of them out. One, two, three, four. And then in the rule book, it says that, uh, you know, I split the, this deck into four parts. I put three of the parts together. I shuffle these into those parts. I'm just going to eyeball it here because, you know, that's about a quarter of the deck there. So, um, you know, I can just throw these in in there. Kind of balance it out a little bit. Got to put four of them in. You can always make the game more difficult by putting <laughs> all six. I'll throw this one closer to the top here. All right. When those come up, we have to deal with them. Now, I'm playing an another point here. I'm playing the insane uh, variation. And I play the insane variation uh, because I'm not playing a timed game. So I, I figured that's, um, you know, that, that, that creates maybe a balance there. Uh, the insane variation is having these system cards face down. Because here's a system card. You're supposed to play it face up. So you know, right? If a system collapses, you go to the black side and something negative happens. If the system is 100% fixed, um, you go to the colored side there and you got something positive. So you're supposed to play with these cards face up. Um, and therefore, you know what you're dealing with. <laughs> you might say, oh, in no way do I want my engines to collapse because of that problem there. Well, because I'm not playing a timed game, I decided myself that I want to play this variation, which, by the way, is in the instruction booklet. <laughs> there it is right there, the super insane variant. That means you keep the cards face down, and I just don't know what's going to happen uh, if the system uh, recovers 100%. Well, being the captain of the ship, I, I know what's going to happen if it's recovered 100%, but, you know, because other systems are, are failing, uh, I'm not sure exactly how the equipment is going to react. Uh, now, on the negative side, yeah, if it completely collapses, I have an idea what could happen as the captain of the ship, as the captain of the Lux Aterna, but, um, I'm not 100% sure, so I like playing blind like this, where I just don't know what's going to happen, right? This is my control panel, um, and you'll see what's going to happen in just a second. We got the black hole card there. We're set up right there. We can begin in different areas here, right? The book suggests we begin there. If we survive, uh, if I lift this up here, it says plus five. That's what I add to my score at the end of the game because I started at plus five. I can start here at plus 22, but I'm closer to the black hole and most likely I'm not going to make it. All right, so let's begin the game. Um, you take four cards, and then I'll go over this with you. Uh, you take four cards, and we look at them because we have to put them down in the control panel here, right? That top right corner is the event. That determines what color die or which system is going to go down by two. Now, if I choose to put this one here, the navigation system in the event, uh, that uh, navigation system is going to collapse because it's going to go under one, right? And that means it collapses. So that's not a good idea to use there. Here we have the action, which is on the bottom of the card. And here it says flip a die to its opposite face, but not anything that's, you know, not one to six. So I can flip any of these to a five. We know there's a five. All of them start at two. We know there's a five on the other side of them. And this is the speed, okay? Which means uh, I'm going to move two towards the black hole, okay? So we just look at these and we decide. Here's swapping cards, not interested. Speed one, maybe. And then cash, by the way, is just a card that we keep here uh, that carries on to the next turn. So every uh, consecutive, every, every, every turn... Um, after the first one here, we're gonna be we're gonna be with five cards. Okay, so add two to a dice. That's uh, not bad. Uh, I can no, I prefer to flip. That's gonna be my action. Okay, I'm gonna have to move this down. Uh, hopefully that won't, because uh, I gotta put a card down here. But you'll see it. Um, which system is gonna take a hit? 
Ooh, search the deck and remove the first glitch. This is strong. What do I want? Okay, see, this is the decision here. I'm going to keep this one to flip one of these to five. Uh, I'm going to put this in my cache. I'm going to save this card for later. That means, uh, yep, that means orange. All right, so here's how this works. We have to do it in order, okay? So the event, that means orange takes a hit and goes down to one. Remember, if it goes below one, the system collapses. I'm going to turn the card, card over and see what I have to deal with, okay? And then we discard these. By the way, uh, we got this little... Um, man, I got to work between the tripod here, so it's really awkward. Uh, the Handbook of Algorithmic Language. We're barely going to need to see this because, you know, everything is clear on the card. And then here's a, a turn sequence, right? I'll leave it there if you want to look at it. But anyway, so the event is one. So my uh, memory system there took a hit. We discard it. Uh, now we go to um, action. Flip a die to its opposite face. I don't know. Let's go. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to use navigation. Let's go with the uh, life support here. So we flip it to five. I like that. And uh, one. So we move this one towards the black hole. We discard it. I know I told you I was going to let you see this, and then I covered it up. Well, where can I put? I'll put these off here. And we save this one. Okay. So now we go to the next turn. One, two three, four. I, I see the glitch card there, so I may I may use this. All right, let's see what we got. We can re-roll. I always look at the action first. Uh, hmm. We can reduce one die and put plus one on another. I, I, this search the deck and remove uh, first glitch is, is, is important. Move one closer to the black hole, then add one to a die. Hmm. Re-roll a die. I'm definitely going to use a glitch. Okay, I guess blue's going to take a hit. Uh, I'm going to search the deck here to remove a glitch. And uh, I'll use... Yeah, I'll use this. Wow, this is the speed. I don't have much of a choice. Well, I could use... I could use this. I'll switch this, right? Because then this will be the event, and I'll just uh, discard this. So green takes a hit. I don't mind because it's at five. So and now we uh, discard it. Now we have um, search the deck and remove the first glitch. Uh, I'll happily do that. There it is. It was about to come up. We got rid of it. That's important. It's all about survival. And uh, one more towards the black hole. And I'm going to keep this one because this one search the deck and remove another glitch. So that might help. Two, three, four. Let's see what we got here. Flip a die to its opposite face. Um, I could flip one that I could flip that to a six. This doesn't have that little rule that it can't be well one to a six. So I can put bring my memory up to a six. Uh, I don't move to black hole this turn. Mm. I might put this here for um, damage. Reroll a die. Search the deck. All these are coming up. Search the deck and remove the first glitch. All of them are coming up right now, which which means that they're not going to come out later on. Um, I'm going to use this as my action to flip the, the die. Uh, wow, this is going to move me two. Or I could re-roll a die, but this is a sure thing, right? If I flip a die, yeah. I'll just move two towards the black hole and I'll, I'll get rid of this one. Unfortunately, I, I, I can't keep it. You can't keep more than one card here. So pink takes a hit, which is my engine. That goes down to one discard we have um, I got to flip a die to its opposite face uh, I could do my engine uh, I did say I was gonna do my memory memory right so I'm gonna go ahead and move that 
flipped it over. That helps. We move two, one, two, towards the black hole, because that's our speed right there, remember? And I keep this, because I'm, I'm still going to keep this. I, I, I'm going to use this at some point. All right, let's do four more. Two, three, four. Uh, I really enjoy this game. Uh, I'm talking, so I may be a little distracted here. Add one to a die. Move three away from the black hole. That's not bad. Uh, carry any one card into the next turn. Draw as normal. You choose minus two black hole plus one. No. Um, hmm. And if I add one to memory, it, it goes into positive. I'm going to put this here. So my communication system is going to go uh, down one. I like this, but then that means I got to move two more. Wow, move three away from the black hole is a good one. I can move this three back. Wow, these are good cards. What am I going to do? I'll use that as my action. And I have to use this here because, um, you know, I'm not going to use three, so I'm not going to use it. Uh, here's the comm. Um, my communication system takes a hit. We're going down to one. And discard. I'm going to add one to a die. I'm going to do it to my memory here. So that means this one is fully recovered. And we get to see what benefit we get out of that. This is discarded. Uh, wow, we go two, one, two, towards the black hole. So what happens here? Search the main deck for the first two glitches and remove them from the game. Fantastic. So I'm not, I'm going to play with no glitches. This is actually the first time I play this game because we only put four glitches in there, right? And I've gotten rid of all four glitches. Wow, fantastic. I'm doing a great job. I'm still, I still kept this one. For the glitch, but now I'm going to get rid of it. I don't, I don't, don't need this anymore. Let me see. This, this might, I might be able to put this up a little bit. All right, let's take four more. One, two, three, four. See what the deal is. Yeah, for sure. I don't, I don't, I don't need this card anymore either. I'm going to put it here. So blue takes a hit. Is was blue on six? Oh no, did I accidentally turn that? What was that die on? Oh no. Uh, what was it? I think I hit it. It was not on six. Was it on two? I think it was on two. I think it was on two, wasn't it? I don't, I don't think I did anything with that die. Yeah, I think it was on two. All right. Well, it's on two now. <laughs> All right, so um, not add one to a die. Um, move away four from the black hole. That's good. I can add two to a die. That's good. I. Uh, but that action says move too closer. I'm getting too close to the black hole there. I certainly don't need this. So what am I going to do? Um, wow. One of the winning conditions is to have three or more of these systems 100% functional and the other ones collapsed. But collapsing a system in the, in the ship is so easy that I, I really need to... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to throw this here. Blue's going to take a hit. I, I hope that was on two. I, mean, I think it was on six because when I lifted, flipped this over, I think it, it flipped that die over. I don't remember that being uh, on six. So uh, move four away from the black hole. That's a good one. Add one to a die. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I move, move four away from the black hole. And, uh, and this is... <laughs> 
which one in my cache? Why I'm gonna save this one, put this one here, and discard this. So blue takes a hit. It's going down to one. I hope that's correct. Gee, I just don't remember what it was in. Um, this is move four away, right? So one, two, three, four. That's good. That helps me a little bit. And now we have, um, I got to move one towards. So I actually moved just three back. All right. I got rid of the glitches, so that's good. One, two, three, four. I think this is such a cool game. Uh, let's see. Move two away from the black hole. That's good. Swap two. This is probably going to be my speed. Yeah, this will probably be my speed. Uh, and move two away from the moon. Move two away. Oh, wow. Two of them. Give him. Oh, wow. All three of these move two away from the black hole. Okay. Uh, boy, am I going to collect. If I use any of these, I'll have to use the uh, yellow one because these two will collapse if I use them. So I'll use this as an action and discard this one. So yellow takes a hit, goes down to three. Uh, we have uh, my engines here. Uh, well, move move two away from the black hole. So I move. I'm almost back at the beginning, which is great. Just gotta survive. Maybe run out of cards. And then here, move one, right the speed. And I'll keep this one. Uh, one, two, three, four. Search the deck for a glitch. I don't need that. I may discard that one. Uh, I can add it. Add one to a die if I move two in the uh, towards the black hole. I can swap two dice and move two away from the black hole. Hmm. I can't uh, in the instructions, for instance. Orange has already been resolved, right? Uh, I'm not supposed to do that that's cheating okay as long as there is a system that's still uh, being repaired I and I have the card for it I have to use one of the cards with a uh, die on it like I can't cheat and just put the memory you know the orange one here because it's been resolved so um, <clears throat> so I'm not gonna put it here I could use this action but I think I'm gonna use this one for speed I might use this one. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one as an action that I had in my cache. Wow, what am I gonna do? Actually, I can't. I can't. Wow, no, yeah, I'm gonna have to crash a system. It's gonna be calm, I guess. Communication. Wow, that stinks. Um, I'm gonna keep this one here that's moved two away from the black hole. All right, so this one crashes because it's minus two. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, no. Okay, once only subtract one from each die. Once only? What, is it, what do they mean by that, once only? I guess I got to do it now, right? Wow, I got to do that now. Oh, no. All right, let me let me let me resolve this. Add one to a die. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this pink one here. Actually, I have to resolve that first, right? I have to resolve that first. I mean, the the, the rule is that you resolve event, and this event caused that to collapse. And then I have to do that. Okay, let's let's play fair, which collapses both of these because you subtract one from each die one time uh, this one goes to three and this one goes to two uh, so that these are collapsed if I'm not mistaken you gotta do these things uh, immediately actually uh, I just uh, no I did not lose the game um, I thought I thought I had four of them Move your starting position marker two spaces away from the black hole. Away? Oh, my starting position marker two spaces away, so it would be here. 
And this this is bad for scoring at the end. So now instead of a plus five, if I survive, it's going to be a plus two. Okay, that stinks, but it doesn't affect me like immediately. And that one, it says, the card you assign to speed has a value of three for the rest of the game. This is bad. So every turn, I'm going to be moving three. Okay, so the action here is that I can add one to a die. So I'll, I'll add uh, to the life here life here go go up to four and uh, this one oh actually from now on it's three so one two three no matter what wow that sucks and I'm not gonna be able to I, I think I'm not gonna make it one two three four well I could use this right move two away from the black hole here's another one move two away from the black hole flip uh, I could flip this one Oh, wow, add one to a die, swap two. But again, remember the rule, I have to, if I have a yellow or a green, I have to use it. So I have to use this green one here to reduce, right, for my event. I can't cheat. Um, I have the card, so I have to use it, and I don't have a yellow, so. Um, I guess I can add, you know, that this will take it away. Oh, no, I'll flip. I'll use this one as an action, flip the die. And it doesn't matter what I put here because it's gonna be three, right? Okay. So uh, we start here. Uh, so this one takes a hit and goes down to three. Discard, uh, I'm gonna flip a die to its opposite side. It's gonna be this one. I have to get these two functioning 100% or I'm, I'm gone. And this three, one, two, three, right? Because of the, um, yeah, because of my engine. Wow, this is terrible. I'm not sure I'm gonna survive this. One, two, three, four. As I still have too many cards. Add one to a die, add one to a die, move four close to the black one, add three to a die. Wow, I can, but that means um, I have to move four and then at the end of the turn, I move three more. Oh boy, this, but I can move two away. Let's see, I'm thinking out loud here. Wow, oh wait a minute. I have to use this yellow here because that's the only one I have. So I have to use that there. Um, you know, I think it's time to use this. Give me a little breathing room, move two away. And this, it doesn't matter. Which one do I keep in my cache though? I think I'm gonna keep this one. Get rid of these two. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what we put here, right? Cause we know we gotta move three anyway. So, um, so this one takes a hit. We discard, uh, move two away from the black hole. So that's good, we move back two. Whatever this was, we have to move three forward. One, two, three. And let's keep going. One, two, three, four. Oh, very intense. Okay, I got two yellows and a green, so I, got, I can choose. Flip a die to its opposite side. I don't, don't really care to do that. Well, I guess we'll put that there. It doesn't matter, because we still gotta move three. Um, wow, uh, I guess yellow, I mean, I could flip that to a four, I suppose. I don't want this. I'll leave this here. I will put this here as an action. All right, so the yellow goes down one more, because that was the event. Flip a die to its opposite side, it doesn't matter. I, I said I was gonna do it to this one, so let's put that one to four. Um, and this is a three. Three, one, two, three. Oh, over here. We're getting close, we're getting very close. Anything I'm overlooking here? Starting position mark to space, okay. Once only, I did that. Okay, I took the glitches out, the card you're assigned to speed, okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, we don't need these. We, we, oh wait, wait. What is that glitch doing there? I 
thought I removed them all. Oh my god, I didn't. Wait a minute. That glitch is there. It was there? It was the next one, right? To come out? Because here, I only remove two glitches. Oh no. How did that end up there? Did I have more than four? No, I think I removed one, and then this removed two more. For some reason, I thought they were all gone. All right, this could be the end of me here. Uh, I have to do either green. Oh, okay, I have to do green. Okay, so I'm gonna. This is this is gonna have to be green here. Uh, Reroll a die. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. I'll put this here because it doesn't matter. I'm swapping a die. I don't care about that. I'm gonna do this. Can I get to re-roll? Maybe I get you know roll a six or something. Okay, so my event and this goes down to three. Wow, I'm fighting here. Re-roll a die. Which one? Let's re-roll power. Oh, roll a two. Thank you. And uh, this is gonna be three, so it doesn't matter. One, two, three. Okay, next turn, uh, I'm gone. And here, as soon as we pick this, we have to deal with it. Your cash is destroyed. Flip the console card to the red side. You cannot save cash for the rest of the game. Okay. I thought I'd gotten rid of all of them for some reason. One, two, three, four. This, this is going to be my last turn unless I can uh, move. Reroll, flip a die to its opposite side to a card from the cash. Okay, I can't use anything in the cash. Reroll one or two. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this. I might re-roll both. I don't think it'll matter though, because I don't have a card here that'll bring me back, and as soon as this turn comes around. Yeah, we'll just go through the motion here, but um, this one will take a hit. These these two don't matter, right? So uh, green will take a hit. I'm going to use my action here to re-roll both of these. All right, I got a six and a two. But it doesn't matter. We're dead. Because whatever speed card was here was going to go one, two, three. And that, my friends, takes us to the black hole. <laughs> We didn't make it. We didn't make it and we only had four cards left, right? If we, had, if we had done one more turn, we could have survived and seen what our score was gonna be. But I overlooked that glitch. I could have removed that glitch. I had the card for it and I didn't do it. And I don't know what happened here with the blue. I, I hope that that wasn't at six because if it was at six and I turned it to a two, I think when I flip this over, uh, I nudged that die and I think it flipped to a six. I don't know, I'm gonna watch the video and find out. Either way, we lost, but this is a fantastic game. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with Luxatadna, and um, I highly recommend it. It's, it's a very cool solo game. Uh, it's got a lot of variability because of all these, you know, different cards and, you know, the, the five of each of these systems. I like to play with the insane variant like you saw here where I don't know what's going to happen. I don't play with the clock. Uh, personal choice. I don't think the game uh, really needs it. Um, you know, I'm sure somebody can argue for it, but, you know, I prefer to play on my own time. Uh, and it's still fun, still enjoyable. So there you have it. Lux Eterna, great game.